she is the mistress of a man who's obviously married, has another family. She has a son with this man. She's obviously a side character, but very important because she yeah. is the one who gives a role model to Esther, whether of, of a yes, different kind that's of a another, woman. That's another curious thing with all her religious beliefs, Esther. She loved this woman. Because she represented so much more. But at the same yeah. time, Mademoiselle Thibault respected yeah. Esther's life and religion and yes. never tried, yeah. except for the one conversation when Esther comes to talk to her about what she should do. And she said, start thinking about what your God wants of you. And Esther is not ready. Yeah. Esther is not ready to hear any of that yet. Mm -hmm. But... What's interesting, Mademoiselle Thibault mentions, for example, when we meet her in Paris, that women, and this is 1924, she says, I own the apartment, whereas a married woman is not allowed to own property. Mm -hmm. So she sees herself as the lucky one, that she's not married and she can own her own property, mm -hmm. which gives us a glimpse in 1924 Paris, France, women who were married could not own the property. And so that is how mm -hmm. we start meeting her as an early feminist. So is there anyone in your family who, who writes books or anything? Uh, no, I'm, I'm the novelist, but my mother became the artist that my grandmother never became. And my, my mother is 87 years old. She still paints and exhibits and sells. Here and in she, the United no, States? No, no, in Tel Aviv. And her oh. name is Reviva Yoffe, Y-O-F-F-E. And she literally sold thousands of paintings in her life. In tiny little detailed, very, very detailed. She, she works them as fast as her mother worked the knitting and the crocheting and, and all of the other form of arts that were permitted to women at the time. Mm -hmm. So my mother became the suc a very successful artist. She also exhibited internationally. Uh, her sisters, my sisters, myself, we all artistically inclined. We can produce stuff. Uh, I've sculpted in my life, but my uh, form is, is writing. That's right. What about your dad? Um, he was a talented man in many ways. But not a writer. Uh, not a no, writer. no, 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 nobody was a writer, but we all no. were storytellers. Oh. My grandmother <laughs> was a storyteller. So when did you decide to start writing? And, and November 3rd, 1993, at 2.48 p.m. <laughs> Uh, are you talking about this book or no, in no, general? No, no, my writing career. I, uh, Jerusalem Made is my That's fourth novel. That's a very unusual answer. It's, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I like it, though. Um, Jerusalem yeah. Made is my fourth novel. The first novel that I started in that time, I'm telling you, in 93, mm -hmm. uh, was not published. Then Puppet Child yeah. came. It was published. Then China Doll. Yeah. Puppet Child was published in 2002, and it set in... Long Island, actually. It's about a mother fighting the court system to save the, her daughter from molestation by the father. And it's a legal oh. drama mm -hmm. that launched uh, my, not just my public writing career, but activism. I launched a law called the Protective Parent Reform Act, which is now oh. passed in four states and in front of the legislature and many others. And then China Doll, which is about an American pop singer and a concert tour in China when a baby is thrust into her arms. So you're going to have to come back because this is fascinating. I'm just uh, no wonder because I was fascinated with the books. I'm fascinated with you. You're a very unusual and uh, very interesting person. Thank you. And I really appreciate you coming and uh, to decorate my stage here. <laughs> And the uh, half hour is at a close. I mean, I told you this is only a half hour show. And, uh, but I think uh, you covered everything. And uh, well, I wish you a lot of luck. And I, I guess you're working on another book. Yes, uh, I'm speak. working on a couple of books. Actually. A couple? Yes. 
Well, that's But wonderful. it's going to take a long time, so don't expect well, another book for another five years, so you might as well. Well, it keeps your mind occupied, because when I have a story to tell, I, uh, like I said, I've been writing uh, plays and other stuff, and that's always like, what is that word? It ha you know, my mind. Circulates. That's a good word I was going to say. So, but per you know, every time I'm doing something, all of a sudden I think of it, and it just happens. And then, of course, when I sit down to write it, it's, it's all there already. That's how the mind works. Well, well thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. It was. But it, it's we're, we're done. It. They're just uh, finishing up. Will last for all.